them free me back out of Insta Live. And take me out of Insta Prison. <laughs> Yo! Greetings in the name of the Most High Queen Celestia Ja. I know I've hurt you more than once. Cheating your love like I don't respond. Time in the cut up on me. Chasing every beautiful woman I see in the end, what's my reward? I brought an happiness in a me yard, oh Lord. Never wanna see you crying over me. No, that's not the way that it's supposed to be, oh no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Good morning, people. I don't know, I don't know, from what day I don't know where I go on. The guidelines that I mash up my life. I post all that thing and the people lit my way. So I have my page there under scrutiny right now. So, more time when I come on, more time I can't come on. Zane, and now for the people, I'm, them said them now get a notification mm -hmm. and them have a notifi notification. See? Mm -hmm. So may I test out the live and see if it's ready. Yeah, anyway. If you say I need more on a show, you know, say a bad things that go on, and I have so much things to say right now. But you know, I like when time people tune in and tell other people. So, when you can share my life, share it and tell some people, because enough people now get the notification. Say me in. See? I'm going to take time out and big up all of the parents, them way. Yeah, I got you it. Seen. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna know right now, say it's like a whole heap of parents like basically give up already. They have given up because them said them can't afford to feed them pitney because them lose them work and you don't know the kids them take them take um a lot which you know once the kids them they want food is a is a big necessity and can't feed them and you know bills have to pay the same way because and everybody's li living in the bridge light and bridge waters society seen and the educational terms but they don't give them problem already know them they're online sometimes them can't get on on the zoom a whole heap of things them are got you. Some of them are single mothers. And they are they are going through depression. And none of them want to give the pitney them because this is the roughest them ever face it. Because remember how it go. 
some of them would have five thousand dollar some of them would have six thousand dollar some of them would have call it say ten thousand dollar how to spend ten thousand dollar the major how to spend ten thousand dollar in a times like this especially in jamaica and let it serve you how long can ten thousand dollar with a food serve because a bread is for children and a dollar you have three kids in our house everybody love bread seeing so a bread upon a good day now nah, last two day seeing so it's like anything where you have and it can count it can finish so you buy bread you buy a chiffon butter you buy quarter pound of cheese you buy three little round bun which you don't either eat bun and cheese with it three round bun i have three kids in the house each one of them i gonna eat one who is going to eat half a bun see so you buy these bun for call it let me see a hundred dollar for one of the bun there so call it four bills see so right there so one thousand dollar gone out of the ten thousand dollar you need oil you need seasoning you need ground provision you need skelly and thyme onion and all of these things See, a gas in a regular household is three thousand two hundred dollars for a twenty-five pound cylinder gas. See, right away five thousand dollar gone out of the money. See, remember you don't buy meat kind yet. You're gonna buy one one thing of mackerel, Alaska mackerel. For three hundred dollars, a tin of bully beef, a small one, is for three hundred and eight dollars. I say three three fifty, three sixty, for a grace. See, you need butter. Six thousand dollar gone out of the money. See, now you have four thousand dollar to play with. You go buy one three pound of chicken at two fifty, two sixty. Call it three bills a pound. One more thousand dollar gone out of the money. Zin, come and buy now. These are just basic needs where I tell you about, you know. Three pound of chicken. You say I go buy some uncut chicken back. You go buy one three pound of uncut chicken back to fetch child, you know. So you have split it in a two. Zin, so three thousand five hundred dollar. So, you have. So you have three five left. See? And you buy them there. You could have buy tang. Because remember say, you know, for the ghetto people, them them love tang. Because you know cool it still sell, but tang sell more. So them buy tang and sugar. You could have buy one five pound of rice. See? Six dollar pound for rice. Because on a basmati or Alberta rice, regular rice, $60 a pound for rice. So you see me just put it in perspective that all of that done. See? And remember that is just one week. Never one week. This is just the meat kind I got doing in a one day, a day and a half. See? So now you do this in a day and a half and you have six more days to go. See, you have six more days to go. How do you manage the rest of six days, them? Because remember, you do have an income. So you have to cut down the pit them food. How do you cut down your kids, them food? How you cut down your kids, them food now? Because remember, them used to eat this. Remember, not three meals a day, this, you know. So how you cut down this food yeah? How you tell a little boy say Mungo can get two spoon of rice and him can get three spoon of rice and one piece of meat because remember you know you have to make it work. See? So now the frustration I reach now the parents them now because they don't have the food, they don't have the money. They might look 
in a house so they look in the ceiling they look around they do everything they must look and look and look because nothing not come in everybody would have them savings the savings trickle down then now you have a lot of people who took out loans these are the upgraded version now are they struggling now a lot of people take out loans see loans is that thing where like for instance <laughs> Kevin Fashion. <laughs> we are gonna get to that part there. Saying, remember, you know, loans. You took out a loan to do something or appliance or whatever you took out. Whether you take out a bed at coats or singer, you take out a bed at a machine or whatever you take out. And you were supposed to pay. 10,000 a month 15,000 a month until you pay it off you get a year to pay it off or two lose your work from last year it was supposed to come out of your salary now you don't have a salary now they are calling you and calling you and calling you and calling you because remember now you know are you real address this where you live bam somehow have a guarantor so they might call down the guarantor and the guarantor call down you because you not answer them. You stop answer the guarantor. You and the guarantor friendship mash up. They still a look for you same way because they want back the payment. They want back the payment or the item. See? So the, the stress has come from all different angles. All different angles and side. It would be unfair for me to tell someone not to stress. It would be so unfair for me to tell someone not to stress. Stress is a big factor. People are going through depression right now and not even know. See? People are suffer from all type of things and them not even know. Because them sit down and look out of space. Most times I see some people just look yell and talk to them and all them say, hmm? Because like, them, them mind wander so much I wander so far. See? The mind wander so far. And yes, some of them have somebody are foreign. But how often can somebody are foreign send something come give you? Because every dollar counts. See? That's why I'm here telling people we have to start live within with means and stop living above. No. God bless everybody who's been working through the pandemic who have not lost their job who have not gotten a pay cut because remember you know the time now in jamaica is 8 p.m for a nightly curfew during the week if you're working at a gas station or a food establishment your pay was is slashed because there's no way the boss can afford to pay you full time because you're not working full time See, 24 hour days of Jamaica done. We don't know when that I got open back. Every gas station from Manor Park come right back down to Cross Road, to Portmore. Everything slash. A lot of employers are doing their best to keep on their staff and not let them go. So I have to say, you know, Respect goes out to you who are trying to keep these people afloat, you know, by slashing them pay too because your business is suffering, but you're still a child with little loyalty for your staff. So I have to say coolness to you. Eight hours a day, them say people for work, but a lot of people not working eight hours. So people who used to come on for night shift or go on for night shift, because if you're a security and working at a security firm, them work, they still are going. But like people who are work all in a day, you know, wholesale and, you know, like the little small place, them, the people, them, where I work at Chinese food place, you know. Some people who are work at some place where it's wicked. So, when I talk about the depression thing, all heap of people, they have suicide watch right now. They have fear suicidal thoughts. See? 
And them have suicidal thoughts and me I tell you the truth. It not nice. And the reason why I come on, because I know that probably somebody can hear me attack and nobody think like them want to kill themselves. Hope is still there. This is not the last of you. So do not make right this moment be the death of you. See? And just think about your children then. Yes, you are struggling to feed them right now. You are struggling to feed them right now. But please, if you get sick, if you die, remember they are going to be left to the mercy of the world. If you have a daughter, you have a son, or you have two daughters, what is going to happen to your two little daughters when they reach now yet in a life? Them not reach puberty yet. Them not fully mature yet. Them not got through nothing yet. You have been fighting all this time for them. Now is not the time for you to give up on these children. You are going to fail them. And I know you didn't bring your children here to fail. A lot of fathers is thinking like, yo, can't take you out of the bank you call me and this a call me and that a call me and remember we have to think because remember you know them look to the head of the house sometimes the woman at the head of the house sometimes the woman is the head of the house so she have to think for even the man because the man for him self esteem low because him lose him work and from him lose him work him think to stand up and he might go through so much and he pitney them and look for him and I said, Daddy, and him get all ignorant and vex now, so him fucking and, and get five pitney. And right now, him vex, so him have five pitney. Because remember, him go have five pitney and him go spread out and everybody a call and say, The pitney want this and the pitney want that, and it's rough. And any caring parent is going to be frustrated. Any caring father, any caring mother it's going to frustrate them, it's going to stress them. A man who get pitney all over and never have no business about them, he might write, you know. Because him just saying hey, God go with them, you know. I get a little lucky, you know. And I response bound to pick me in myself. Me and me I survive for myself right now. A real parent will, won't ever use those words. You understand? So kudos to everybody who still holding tight and I hold on. And I do the right thing, see, and we all when the right thing the right. See? So may I tell you no people, think about your youth them. Think about your youth, them know it rough, but you can do it same way. Cause remember them always say Mother and father now go eat parents. Mother and father now go eat pitney, but pitney will eat parents. See? And this happened all the while. So though the suicidal thoughts will not have just know say this is not the end. This can't be the end. It have to get worse before it get better. I will go through enough things in life already. See, a whole heap of things we go through in life already. A whole heap, whole heap, whole heap of things. And we passed the worst already. So right now we have got through the phase away. Yeah, and now we are alone. So sometimes you, you say, why me? Why me if I go through this? Whoa, oh, murder, Jesus Christ. And people want um, ball and go on the crocus bag. I think it's 17 scandal bag. But we have to wall out. We have to strong for the youth them. See? So much things go on in now, and we couldn't get fever come on for life because as I may say, I don't know them say guidelines and them black the life fairly could be tan race. So now there's two incidents that happened. One happened I went last week where a man shoot him son. Seeing the man shoot him son. Then him come out before we see the video and him say self-defense. I am here thinking to myself what this youth could have done for his father to shoot him, kick him on the ground, try to run over him with a car. And I don't know, I still not, I don't fathom what could have really happened. See, there's no way me will bring a youth in a earth. Me can't eat my pitney. I might see this, me I look for myself. Me not busy that how much pitney I want to get. The whole of them me have to look on the same way. I would them say you have your favorite. I whole of them supposed to be a favorite. See, because you want good for the whole of them. 
I don't know me in them life, I don't know them family, I don't know what I'm going on. Just based on how I see him going and him carrying a rage, come out back, see the youth that come to him, shoot the youth, kick the youth, try run over the youth. See, I don't know what. What kind of anger him could have in him towards the youth? Because I can't tell you this. All of the men that follow me on the page. Try look what the youth they do. The man they do to him, son. Don't try to do it to your son. No care how angry you get, I still your pitney. That is still your child. I when you say me hate him, I mean I like him, I mean this, I mean that, but you and him in our business together. See, I your last name that I your seed. Worse if I your first son. You send him to school, you do everything for him. You mean I the business. See, it's a trend now for people just. It's like as I tell people all the while. That's why I have to post up my pitney them, you know. I show people how much I love my pitney them and appreciate my pitney them and glad which part my pitney them reach. Them past the worst already. When people say I post it, I don't post it for, for, for laughter. Uh, 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 uh. Like a mockery. See? Because some people not just, just start following me and see it and them jump up and feel like say, I embarrass my daughter. When they don't understand the relationship with me and my daughter have. Me and my daughter are friends. Something about her, she come to me as her father. My son is the same thing. Zin, so I uh, post them things for people. She say, I show my son love. I hug him up. I tell him I love him on a regular. Zin, and telling him I love him and showing him I love him. A two different thing too. Because actions speak louder than words. Because anybody can use the word love, but them not. Them not. And you see the time, me and my youth, them spend time. Whether upon the phone I have conversation, are in person because you see time or something where we can't get back see time is where we can't get back because many times the youth them are going to do some things where you don't like because you have a daughter and your daughter get pregnant before she finish school and your becks are ignorant about that see and it would have taken you a couple of years to get over it but you shouldn't feel compelled to go and kill your child your son would have talked to a girl where I said, What am I doing with that the girl there? Kill this girl, what this girl? See? And your becks with your pitney for that. Then now, what we have to simple understand 99.9% .9 of the time, the youth them grew up in a good home with both parents. See? But two parents don't depend on the same page. Two parents are not on the same page. Because 99% of the time the youth them prefer the mother. Yes, the father is the breadwinner. See? The father is the breadwinner. The mother is in the house doing the cooking. Yes, the father go out and he breed all next girl. Because one of the big things that, you know, when a man leave out of the house and go breed next woman, you know, sometimes the pitney just get jealous and say, eh. So he's going to get another pitney so we now go get the love there again. And me and my sister are... You know, and me and my brother alone. So, come here, my mother. Mother cry how much I water, and mother dead, and she has sucks all through all the spoon and I go and all kind of thing. See? So, through this money, I have this money and this money, you know? Big, strong, tough vice, and him talk, and him film talk goes because he using money and man manipulate. See? Because remember when two people married, you know? And them have businesses together, you know? It's cheaper to stay together, separated, than be divorced, you know? Because the divorce can long and drawn out if two people not agree if you go them separate ways with whatever. See? So, 99% of the time, the youth them take them mother side. And a father, because me know my youth them love them mother more than me. Me know this. I know them love them mother more than me. But them love me too. You understand? Them love me too. I know them love me. I wonder if them love me. But me know so them love them mother more than me. See? And that's not a problem. That's not a problem. Some man make it a problem. So sometimes them build up an anger towards the youth because them have said them give the youth spaceship, them give the youth flying saucer, them give the youth Mars, them give the youth Saturn, them give the youth Pluto, them give the youth Mercury, them give the youth all kind of thing, the whole like Earth, planet Earth. See? And them give the youth this and give the youth that and everything. 
everything on this youth that does prefer mother in everything him taking mother side seeing him taking mother side in everything and the father hurt over that so enough time the man them build up an anger towards them own child because of the love that the mother receive but as a man i can tell you this look in at yourself and learn to accept certain things that you can't change don't ever you don't ever you force your child to choose between parents give the child an opportunity to take what they want to take because you might have more money and you spend less time while some youth might see mothers yo my mother na have it and my mother this and my mother that and my mother this and my mother that and my mother whatever 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 see so enough man have these angers enough man have these angers towards them youth because the youth take the mother side through everything see but what you supposed to do as a parent just do your part love the youth unconditionally same way you can love the youth from a distance also city finest some of adam hold on same so one talk about it hold on Yo, Richard, where are you going? Where are you dealing, Jaja? Yo, listen, me say, me I listen to your talk from man, you know, and it's like, a long time me I listen to you, and a long time me I watch your thing, and it's like, you see the relationship where your daughter have, me envy your family. Right. right? Me, me is a single father. No, no laugh, man, trust me, but you know, big up four years still. Me is yeah. a single father, right? Me have a 21 year old daughter. And it's like, for most of our life, um for all our life I've been in our in our life, but for the the earlier part of our life, me had to make the transition to come a foreign. But right. physically I wasn't there, but financially and what I say now, telephone presence I've always there. Right. I make it a point of duty that every week I buy um ten dollar worth of phone credit, you know? So two dollar a day. So every day I call them. Well she and her sister and yeah. her mother, you know. And um, it's like, cut long story short, I bring her come a foreign. She's been a foreign for the past 10 years now. Yeah, and decade. Stand, right. So it's like, you know, I sit down for my daughter in terms of, you know, make she be a Lego, a, 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 a Lego be, so to speak. You yeah, know? you're stern. Right. Me. The one thing, the one requirement, I'm not the right. The one requirement I'm require from her is that, they get the education. Whatever they do or don't do in life, that's right. up to you. You understand? And you see the little thing the way I say, um, you, you know, the, the, the father figure, the, um, the, the, the figure in the house, whether it's the woman or the man, I've yeah. always been that thing to her. You understand me? So it's like, for the past, I don't know, I don't know where I feel my daughter, but I tell you the honest truth. I struggle for Senegal College our first two years. Every cent of me earn, out of my pocket, you see me, I say? Yeah. And, uh, and that's, you know, so it's like, I always never choose fear. It's when it comes to like a relationship wise and stuff like that. I said, listen, you notice how I live? Me a single man, I bring the woman, I bring different, different women come to the house, make you see. You understand yeah. me? If I you know, if, if not forget a little lashing from a girl and thing, it's either I send her away 